Hello, every Nyan, and welcome back to Mystery Mondays. I do believe it's Monday. Yes. Okay. Getting my days confused. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to play Final Fantasy. Yay! New fan festival items and sale. That happened already. There's a fan fest that happened in London. I think? Huh. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Let us begin. Oh, wow, 35 people in queue. Midgard Sormer is truly congested. There should be less people on it. <sighs> this might be a low energy stream. Good morning, Nya. Ohio. Ah. All right. Let's see here. Uh. Damn. My beautiful new glam. Let's see if I made... Oh yeah! <laughs> My Chocobo Glam. It's not entirely time for this one yet, so I'll hold off. I'll just stay with my pumpkin spice latte outfit. I think it replaced the Starbucks one, so that's relevant. <gasps> now, where did we leave off? Are we still in Southern Thanalan? No, we moved to Ishgard. Oh, I forgot to write it down. I remember, I remember. There was a lot of quests in Ishgard. Oh, look at this! That's the Halloween spirit, Nyan. That's nice. Okay, let's see here. Where to go? Machinists for the morrow, level 80. No, thank you, Nyan. Did we finish all the ones on the left side? Looks like it. Temple leaves. Okay, let's tackle the right side. What are, what's all this? Level 60 absolution? Mislaid plan? I don't know, but I'll try my best. Here we go.
Docile Mard. A here on hard time. Talk to me, man. Looking to the future, this here seems vexed by the memory of forgotten promises. The Temple Knights are recruiting, and it has long been my dream to join their ranks, and soon I shall make it a reality. I've told myself I would give anything to be a Temple Knight, but one of their rules gives me pause. We are forbidden from marrying while undergoing training. Well, if it's just training... Hearing this brought to mind a promise I made long ago. Given the flights of fancy and romance, as children are wont to be, I promised a girl that we would marry when we came of age. I was just a boy, and to be honest, I cannot even remember her name. But I worry she may still be waiting for me. All I can recall is she was a ward of House Helenart. I pronounced that wrong, I'm sure. I realize the chances are slim, but I ask that you find her. Tell her she need not wait for me any longer. I could not bear knowing a girl wastes her life waiting for the impossible. <clears throat> Is she in the pillars? Oh no, we just go to house outside the Halenart. Hey, Halenart Manor. Uh, let's try Ethernet. The Last Vigil. Bartello. A ward taken into House Halenard as a child? You ask as though there'd be only one. Sorry to say, but my lord has taken in more than I care to count. It'll be no easy task sorting through the lot of them with so little to go on. Of course, if we're speaking strictly of ladies recently come of age, that may narrow things down some. The first that comes to mind is Lady Laniet, 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 down at the Rose House. She might be able to steer you in the right direction. Oh my god. What, the Rose House? Where's the Rose House? I have to go to the Sea of Clouds? the moon. Pretty. Is this the rose house? I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh, this lady. The one that, uh, that guy has a crush on. What's his name again? Amanalane? Laniet. I have no idea how to pronounce her name. Ladies of House Halenard, of age with me? I suppose that can only be Marielle. Marielle? But you say as a child she promised to be wed. I have heard no such thing. At any rate, you must talk with her yourself to know if she is the one you seek. Okay. Ooh, it's steep. Ooh, it's real steep. He's here. Sorry, I was listening to the music. A promise of marriage? Now that you mention it, why, yes, I do believe I made such a promise. But I was just a child. Who would think to remember such a thing after all these years? Besides, I have sworn to serve Lady Leniette. My only concerns now are fulfilling my duties and the protection of Camp Cloudtop. 
Whoever this boy is, he need not worry of old forgotten promises. Oh. Damn, okay. <laughs> I guess that means I don't have to go back and tell him. Hmm. Brillon. Drinking the pain away. Gibralant is never one to leave a patron fallen in the dump. Hey, you there. Would you mind taking this bottle of mulled wine to the gentleman downstairs? He's a regular around here and a rather affable one at that, but for a recent lack of employment, he's been looking to get deep in the cups. Thought I'd treat him to a mug of this today and keep a bit of weight in his coin purse. Aww. Hello, I am here. Welcome to stream. Bibulous bloke. First LOL, yes. Congratulations on being the first commenter. How, how did this happen? I feel as if I'm trapped within some waking nightmare. What? What's this? No doubt from Gibralon, that admirable bastard. Just what I need to drown my trouble. I was a knight in the service of a proud noble family. That is, until my dear lady was accused of heresy. Everything changed after that. Their prestige, their pedigree, everything was stripped away, including me. They say drinking is merely a pause from thinking. Would that I could take from a bottomless mug. Nay, the only thing that stands to wash away is my dignity. Rather than play the drunken fool, I would like to make a gift of this to my lord. Surely this pain I bear is nothing next to his, completely unaware that his wife had committed such heinous crimes. He is a good man. He deserves better, but this is all I can offer him now. I'm loath to impose upon your kindness further, but could you take this to him in my place? That It loses meaning! If I take it, you should take it. To let him see me in my current state would be disgraceful. Oh, okay. I imagine he is still at the airship landing in the pillars. <sighs> How to get there. I should go back up. Wait, isn't this the Skyship Pirate? At least it looks a lot like him. They're just hanging out here, I guess. Alright, I do believe there is an Ethernet shard for... No, there's not. Never mind. Oh, wait. Title stripped noble. Hello, sir. Yes, can I help you with something? Here's some mold wine from your house's old knight. Wait, I should read the description. Nice. After all that has happened, he still thinks to put me first. Would that I could do more for him, but alas, I have lost nearly everything. My title, my land, my wife. She was accused of heresy and it did all within my power to ad advocate her innocence. But in the end, there was not I could do to forestall the hand of judgment. 
I was a man of great station, and yet I had never felt so low, so helpless. But the Fury has spoken, and to refuse her is perhaps a greater crime than those thrust upon my beloved wife. Now, if you will excuse me, it is nearly time to... Where did he run off to? I'm terribly sorry to trouble you, but would you help me look for my son? We can ill afford to be late. I gotta look for this guy's son? This just goes on forever and ever, doesn't it? I chose this. Title strip nobles, son. They look exactly alike. Father is searching for me? Then it is time. Forgive me. Father insisted we leave immediately, but I had to see for myself. This is where they took my mother to receive Polone's judgment. He said he would fight for her, that justice would be served. But in the end, justice took my mother away from us. Perhaps if I had been stronger, I could have won the battle that my father did not. Oh, that's right. Well, I must be going. Goodbye, mister. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. Man, Ishgard is almost as depressing as old Da. To go back. Maybe in the broom. Oh, you know what? It's probably above. feeling this isn't right. No, because it was outside the Forgotten Night. Out here? Aha! Yes. Found him. Yeah, see, I was all the way over here. Oh, there's stairs up here? That would have been nice to know. Dang. Alright, Bricked. Bricked is looking to keep warm tonight. Excuse me, sir, do you have any spare wood for a fire? Oh, second. Congratulations on being second, disinterested Daniel. Do you have any spare wood for a fire? A small bundle or even a few twigs would do. Uh, of course not, as if a bundle of sticks could warm the hands of so many. The dragons have left foundation in shambles. Countless men and women are without shelter, the bitter chill of death breathing down their necks. I fear some may not even live through the night. I implore you, please speak with... Vain Canet? Vengkane at the congregation. Tell him we must have firewood for the citizens here in the bridge. Oops. I fell down. Firm Albert, where his, where's, where's his brother, Soft Albert? That's what I want to know. Vain Kane. Yes, is there all I can help you with? The people of the broom need firewood, Nyan. I see, I'm hardly blind to the plight of my people, but firewood is something of a commodity these days. I cannot hand it out freely as I might otherwise. However, I may have a solution. During the most recent Dravinian assault, a number of buildings were destroyed. 
I thought it a grave misfortune, but there may yet be a silver lining. The timber we've collected from those buildings is unfit for reconstruction. You may take as much as you like to the broom. Okay. Oh, it's up? Alright, where are those stairs from earlier? Up there? No. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. I think there are these. Are they those ones? Yes. Jeez. Did Vankane consent to aid us? Was there any wood to spare? Sure, I guess I got it already. Wow, I didn't have to actually go fetch it. I just had to magically obtain it and give it to you. My word, this is I know not what to say. How did he amass such quantities? No matter, go and distribute this to the people down below. We must do what we can before this cold claims any more lives. Before this cold claims any more lives. Wee! Frozen vagrant. Vagrant? I can bear this cold no longer. Sniffle. Perhaps, perhaps I should. Uh oh. Splinter knotted crack wormy in moldering. This is no longer suitable for aught but maintaining a fire. What? Firewood? Bless you, sir. Bless you. You're welcome. Ah, what I wouldn't give for a bit of kindling. Here you go. For me? Truly? So it's true what they say about asking and receiving. Thank you. He had a cute face. There's one up there. It's so cold. I I cannot feel my hands anymore. Wood for a fire. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. There's more? Oh. Oh, Solly? Salier? It's cold, so very cold. Firewood? Oh, Halone, be praised. My, that's quite a load of timber there. Surely you don't mean to distribute that all by yourself. Why not let me handle that for you? It's the least I can do to repay your kindness. Leave it to me. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Folks will be warming themselves all along these streets in no time flat. Thanks again, mister. Well, be seeing you. Okay. You are patron saints proud. Now then, let us take what remains some sa somewhere safe. Oh, I gave it all to... 
Oh no. What, a young Elizabeth girl offered to ration out the rest for you? Huh. I'm afraid to say you have been duped. She is a thief and rather well known here in the broom. She bears no ill intentions, but this is a fair deal more serious than her usual antics. These are hard times and I understand how destitution drives one's desperation. But we cannot afford to tolerate her selfish actions, not now. I pray no one shall want for warmth tonight, but we must recover the firewood end soon. Is he gonna have another quest? I don't know. Okay. Well, that's all. Basically. Basically, that's it. Because these ones are probably class quests or something. Mislaid plants. And then there's the one for the uh, diadem, I guess. Let's go to the pillar. So, uh... What just happened is I tried to jump and dive like in Fall Guys. <laughs> but on uh, this game, it's uh, it's the map button. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, we got a lot going on here. So let's start from the right and go to the left, I guess. To the airship landing. I use Peloton. Cleo, Cleo, Cleo. What's this guy? No trill chumps. No trill champs. Do it for Gilly. Oh, I can get an accompaniment node. Let me look this up real fast. Uh, what was it called? Do it for Gilly? It was a cat hair. Fractal Continuum, it unlocks. It unlocks a dungeon? Looks like a dungeon. Um, uh, let's save this for later. I don't need a minion that badly. No, thank you, Nyan. Cleo, best laid plans. Cleo cannot help but frown as she reads over her work. That's such an interesting way to spell that. I might be pronouncing it wrong. <sighs> Sorry, I'm also sleepy. Dude, there's so much going wrong today. <laughs> My stomach hurts, I'm sleepy. But I'm always kind of sleepy. You've the look of someone in need of a task. Well, it just so happens I'm looking for a helping hand. One of our delivery airships is under repairs and we're in the midst of preparing a test flight. Ensuring a safe flight path is of the utmost importance and I need someone to take this flight plan to Jeanne Quinard at the Athenaeum Astrologicum. I would be ever grateful if you could take it to him. Oh, you have a tummy ache today too? That's sad. I hope it gets better. I'm kind of scared to eat dinner, even though I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but my stomach hurts at the same time. <laughs> ah, my good old dude, I remember my astrologian days. 
Uh, Jean-Equinard. Greetings and greetings and welcome to the, the, the Athenaeum Astrologicum. Might I ask what drew you here to this place of learning? You've met me before. Why are you talking like we've never met? <laughs> Thank you. I hope yours gets better too. I think I'm pignant. <laughs> that would be quite concerning if you were. <laughs> Airship flight plan. A slip of parchment documenting plans for an airship test flight. Ah, a missive from Miss Cleo. Another test flight, I see, and it leaves us pressed for time. Our knowledge of the dragon's hunting cycles indicates they will be quite active around this time. I need not tell you what will happen should any of our airships encounter them. That is why our astrologians must interpret the stars for signs of Dravinian activity before airships are permitted to leave. Hmm. But delaying this shipment would have grave repercussions. Our only option is to hasten repairs on the airship. Pray speak with Fromello. Fromello? Fromelot? Fromello? At Sky Steel Manufacturing and see if there's aught he can do. Okay. There's an Aetherite around here somewhere. Ah, the sky steel menu. This so, I think I did machinist and astrologian around the same time. I have such good memories of this place. The sound of like pounding machinery. Stefavinyan, everyone look at Stefavinyan. <laughs> I never pronounce his name. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. I just call him Stefavinyan. Stefavinyan. From hello. Hasten repairs of the airship. Easier said than done, my friend. We primarily oversee the production of dragon slaying weapons such as ballistas and bertha cannons under orders from House Halenart. The magitech utilized in these airships is most certainly not within our regular field of expertise. It is no simple matter to rush anything. <sighs> but I suppose if we are to contend with the horde, it cannot be helped. Tell Cleo we will do what we can. Okay. Food baby won't stop kicking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back to Cleo. Hello, Tink. Yao Dinyan. I hope you're having a good day. Where are we going? Oh, we have to go back to the place. There. This one will lead us to the to the airship landing. I have been tired from all the working I've done. Oh, sorry to hear that. I blame you. You knocked me up. So what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. I do not have that ability. <laughs> Unless it's magical or something. Oh, thank goodness. The swiftness of your report is most appreciated. The advent of the airship is truly a wonderful thing, but not without its hindrances, as you can see. They allow us to cross the ice wall, blocking passage to western Coerthus and navigate the Sea of Clouds. But Halone, may, but Halone have mercy on the ship that should encounter dragons. That is why the Holy See has seen fit to employ machinists and astrologians in the operation of our airships. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. On to the next. Do not cook food. Oh, Tink doesn't cook. I also don't really cook either. The most cooking I ever do is probably like putting a frozen pizza into the oven. <laughs> Everything is pre made. I just have to heat it up. That's all I really do. I mean, I can cook. I've tried in the past and it was okay. I just don't like it. 
you know? This is where we're headed. There's two of them, they're talking. Hard on me? Let me just get in and scooch in right here, do a little night sandwich. They're so tall. They also look like they have the same face. Oh no, it's a little different. Their eyes are different. Now that I look closer. I suck really bad at cooking. I don't think that's true. You made brownies the other night and you said that you cook a lot too. Like you made mac and cheese one time and did a bunch of stuff. Moogle's in the sky. The house for Tons night has an urgent letter to deliver, and he's looking right at you. Ah, just who I was looking for. A letter was delivered to our house addressed to a Master Roga. I wouldn't dare presume to open the letter myself, but the Moogle who delivered it seemed to be in quite a fit of excitement. It might serve you best to open the letter immediately. Why would they send it here? Roga. Oh, Kuplokop. I hope Ishgard's frigid climb is treating you well. As for me, I'm glad to be in a place with more agreeable weather. I've been having a delightfully droll time with the Moghome Moogles, and we've come to an agreement. Moghome will host Moogles from the Twelveswood, so we can all get to know each other better. This will be a rare chance for the Moogles to share and celebrate their friendship together, and of course we couldn't forget to invite our favorite adventurer, you! Come to Moghome before all the wine is drunk and all the Kupo nuts are eaten. I regret to say I won't be able to attend due to other pressing matters, but one of Moghome's residents has agreed to greet you upon your arrival. His name is Mogul, and I've met hardly a Moogle more friendly. He eagerly waits you at Moghome from Kuplokop. <clears throat> I followed directions. Then you're good at following directions. <laughs> That's pretty much all that cooking is. Looking at a recipe and following directions. Look at this little archer moogle. So cute. He's got a little arrow in his hand. And a little bow. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Alright, where are we headed? Beep, beep, beep. Emptier of purses. I love that. Mender of sticks. Gotta go up. Oh no, I'm inside the mountain. There he is. Mogul. I've missed this place. I remember doing the Moogle quests. I, I remember being irrationally angry while doing the Moogle quests to try and get the mount, the little fluffy... I have it now, but man, it was what a time. It was a hard time. There are some people who have some kind of sixth sense when cooking. They know what ingredient will work with other ingredients. Like they can tell just because they've eaten a specific ingredient before. Yeah. I, it probably comes a little bit with experience too. Like if they cook a lot, then they know like what to do in certain situations. I see what you're saying. It does require talent, I think. Like, because sometimes even if you follow a recipe exactly, it doesn't come out right. <laughs> so I think there's a little bit of talent or luck involved. <laughs> or like that sixth sense. Ah, adventurer, you're here at last. It looks like the Moogles from the Twelveswood haven't arrived yet. Now, when I heard there were Moogles down below, my pom-pom perked right up in surprise, Koopo. I That is TMI. I did not need to know that. <laughs> I don't care about your little pom pom. <laughs> and then I got to thinking, well, why aren't the Moogles of the surface and sky living in happy harmony? And I couldn't think of a single satisfactory answer, Koopo. Maybe we'll find out when the Twelvesword Moogles get here, Koopo. But I want to know now. Chieftain Moglin knows much of our history. Come on, adventurer, let's go ask him. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, look, they're dancing. 
That's so cute. There was a guy on Reddit who explained that his wife was extremely good at cooking, as she could eat something and tell you exactly what ingredients were in it. Oh yeah. That is a masterful palette. Oh my gosh, there's so many quests here too. Hello, Chieftain Moglin. I've come before you to ask a question, Yen. You see him up there? He's really big. He's bigger than all the other Moogles. It's Roga. I see you still choose to use that ridiculous name, Koopo. <laughs> and Mogul, what brings you before me today? Chieftain Moglin, well, I think many, including me, were surprised when we heard of Moogles living in the Twelveswood. Why, if the pom-poms on our heads bounce the same, have we lived apart? Why? Oh, why, if the pom-poms on our heads bounce the same, have we lived apart for so long, Koopo? If any Moogle knows the answer to that, it must be you. Mogul, I understand your thirst for knowledge. However, surely the Twelveswood Moogles are just as curious as you, Koopo. <clears throat> He's so bright. Look at how, like, white out bright this Moogle is because of the chieftain's light. Goodness gracious. Ah, you're right. They also want to know. And I have scarce the energy to repeat. I mean, wouldn't it be best to share in the knowledge together, Koopo? Yes. Wait until the Twelvesood Moogles arrive. Then all will be revealed. <laughs> Chieftain Moglin, yours is always the voice of reason, Koopo. Very well, I'll go back to await the Twelvesood Moogle's arrival. Well, adventurer, they should be here any moment. We wouldn't want them to arrive to an empty Koopo nut orchard, now would we? <clears throat> There's people running around. Ew, I don't like that mount. I don't know why I ever got that mount. The Dommel. Let me out. Which way is out? This way. Mogul. That's strange. They should be here by now, but there's no sign of them, Koopo. This can't be good. You don't think they got lost, do you? Oh. I guess it's a quest chain. I guess we'll follow this one. Classic misdirection. Mogul is waiting all by himself for the 12 wood moogles. I feel like I've been flapping my wings forever and still the 12 wood moogles are nowhere in sight. I told them I'd be waiting for them on a floating island above the clouds. Those directions are perfectly clear, aren't they? There's lots of floating islands, you nimwit. You mean there are more floating islands to the east? Why didn't you say so earlier? The Twelvesman Moogles could be there right now, all alone, Koopo. I can't be expected to know of every island. Well, we can't both go look for them. What if they show up here? Adventurer, you're friends with the Twelvesman Moogles. Go and search for them, Koopo. Of course it's me. Why wouldn't it be me? Is this east? No, that's west. Do I have to go to a different map? Look at how giant this map is. Look at how many quests there are. Oh my god. We're never going to finish all the side quests in this game. <laughs> it is endless. I bet you there's like... I don't know. 5,000? I don't know. There's probably at least a thousand. Probably more. Camp Cloud Top. You have to go to a different place. <sighs> well, better get searching. Oh. Harmiet. Moogles? Hello? My door opened, but I do not see a kitty. Maybe she decided to leave. Unless... <gasps> Who are you? 
Looks like Camel. Sounds like Camel. Hello, Camel. You wanna take a nap on my bed? That's okay. Moogles, as much as I'd like to help you, I've never seen one of those in all my days. The only excitement I've had the luck to deal with is the dwindling wine stores. I swear those barrels must come to us half drunk already. Okay. I need to zoom out for this. Well, there's a chocobo keep I haven't talked to yet. <clears throat> Fabra fa Fabrele. Now why in the seven hells would a moogle be here? Well now that you mention it, Gildan was going on about Koopo something or other. You might know something that can help you if you can stand his rambling. You can find him in the Rose House. It's Toffee too! Wow, both kitties! Hi! Hello, Toffee. How are you doing today? My cutie little baby. Cute, cute Toffee. Cutest baby. Except for Camel. Camel is also the cutest baby. They are both the cutest. I don't make the rules. Right. Not seeing anybody. haven't looked up here yet. Can't go in there. There's a sheep back here! Oh hey, I found it! There's a sheep over here too! Ba ba! Sorry, they're not called sheep here. It's car caracools, I think? Caracool? Carabolt. Carabolt? Can't say I've seen a Moogle around here. Of course, even if I did see one, how the hells would I know what I was looking at? Very helpful, thank you. Speak with Gildan at the Rose House. Keating again? Once more, the Mount Roulette is not rouletting. Every time. Uh, take a drink. Every time I get a mount that I already had. Gildan, you could just fall right off of here. Look at that. That's so dangerous. <clears throat> Did you say Moogles? Thank the gods. Finally someone who believes me. Look, I've been telling everyone. I heard a strange voice saying Kupo Kupo near Okzundu to the north. I know what I heard, and there isn't anyone who can tell me otherwise. He has a quest too, man. Everyone has quests. Oh, cause undo his way of it. Let's just teleport there. I'm fine with that. I can live with that. Got the, uh, golden saucer mount. Gold saucer? Golden? Aha! Ganu Valley. So big. Oh my gosh. Ah, Netherling seeks white fluff which flies like Galicat. Ganu Valley looks to sky and sees only clouds. Clouds speak only in thunder and wind. Ganu Valley hears not this Kupo. He has a quest too. 
Rain, sky, life. Would be faster on a mount. Aha. Anu Vanu. Netherling speaks of Moogles. Anuvanu knows not of such flying animals. Sea of clouds home to only Galakat, Sanua, and meddlesome insects. Okay. Sonuvanu. Kunuvali. Netherling seeks animal which flies like soaring cloud. Kunuvali only sees clouds and skies, but Gunuvanu says, sorry, Gunavanu says something of strange whispers brought by distant breeze. Ask him what they might mean, Netherling should. I go this way on my cute little frog robot. Time to go. Hello, Gunavanu. Ah, Netherling, too many moons passed since last meeting. What do you seek of Gunavanu? Looking for Moogles, Nyan. Ah, yes, not long ago, Gunavanu found brother cowering in shade, speaking of strange voices under bridge. Bridge lies outside Oak Zondu. Maybe Netherling find Moogles there. <clears throat> Take a drink, we got this one already. <laughs> but that's okay, I like this one. This is one of my favorite mounts. Isn't it cute? I love it so much. I love my balloons. My balloons! What's that on the end? Aw, cute, it's like a little tag. <laughs> the little weight to keep them down. Cute! Under bridge? Uh -huh. Says up. Oh my gosh, it makes a slide whistle sound when I go up and down. I love this mount. Oh wait, there it is. Oh, so cute. That's one of my favorite mounts, I swear. Koopley Cookie. Oh, you were looking for me, Koopa? Thank the heavens someone found me. You see, I was looking for Moogles in the sky, but there are so many mean looking monsters, Koopa. Under this bridge was the safest place. You mean Mongholm is all the way on the other side of the sky? What a waste of an airship trip. Well, with you to guide us, at least we know where to go next, Koopa. <laughs> a tale of two moogles. Koopley Kooky needs someone to look for his lost friends. Well, I'm overjoyed that we'll finally be able to meet the Mogholm moogles, Koopa, but we can't celebrate yet. We need to find the two moogles that came up here with me. We split up to search for Mog Home, so they could be anywhere near here, Koopo. Hopefully they haven't flitted off too far. If they've been attacked or worse, there's no way I could forgive myself, Koopo. So what do I do? Near the gauntlet. Over here? There's a raid over there? Take a drink, I got this one already too. Have I done the gauntlet? I must have.
Moofy Moogle. What the heck does Moofy mean? Oh, you surprised me, Koopo. What's that? Kooply Kooky sent you to look for me? Thank heavens, a mean-looking bird monster attacked me and I ran behind these rocks. I didn't know where to go. Ah, so Kooply Kooky is hiding under a bridge? Safety and shade. Sounds perfect. I'll go meet him right away, Koopo. Okay. Now we gotta go all the way back. <laughs> Oh, I don't mind the eggplant night. Is it a night? I think it's a night. Eggplant night. Oh, ew, are those feet? It's like an insect. What are these? Totems from the Vanu Vanu? Or is it the, not Vanu Vanu, the bad bird people? I don't know. What a wonderful reunion! I feared that we would never meet again and our party at Mog Home would be but a dream, Koopo. Well, only one more Moogle left, Koopo. My god. Birds of a feather. Kooply Kooky wants you to help search for the last missing Moogle. Only one more missing Moogle. Adventurer, you've seen all the scary beasts out there. We need to find them before something terrible happens. It seems the Moogle fluttered off to the east when the giant bird attacked Koopo. We better hurry. That's right, we will all be going this time. Safety in numbers. Whoa, all the way over there? What am I on? Oh my god. Big. Sorry for the exhaust fumes going in your face. That's the one drawback of this mount. It's a two-person mount, but the exhaust fumes go like right in the camera. Oh, there they are. Oops. Oh my god, let me in. <clears> hmm, <throat> I don't see any sign of a pom-pom here. Oh no, what's that? It's a coupona. We brought some from the Twelvesford to give to the Mog Home Moogles. What could they be doing here? We'd best pick them up. It'd be a shame to let them go to waste, Koopo. But look at all these monsters. Adventurer, you look like you can handle them. Why don't you gather the Koopa nuts? Oh my god. That's fine. They won't hurt me. I'm invincible. Getting a workout. There's the last one. They intentionally put them near the monster. <laughs> All right, I got them. Booty poof. The sperm mobile with Jibanyan. Look how fun. 
Everybody's favorite. Well, were you able to find the Koopo nuts? Yes. Did you just say the sperm mobile? Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> ah, thank you, adventurer. We brought five Koopa nuts with us, so there should be one more somewhere. But if our lost companion isn't here, then where could he be? He couldn't have run far. Well, we'll just have to brave these wilds a little longer, Koopo. How long is this quest chain? Gross. <laughs> yeah. An excellent disguise. Koopley Koop it's always the Moogles, I swear to God. Anything involving the Moogles, the, the delivery Moogle quests, that quest chain was really long, and now this quest chain is getting so long. How did we even start this? It started in Ishgard with a letter, that's right. Copley Cop or whatever gave me a letter. Koopley Kooky is ringing his pom pom trying to figure out where his companion went. If I can say one thing about my companion, it's that he's quite adept at fleeing, Koopo. Hmm, if it were me running, I'd go to the south. But no doubt that area is just crawling with dreadful creatures. Adventurer, we need you to look for any signs he was there, or for any clues as to where he may have ran to. If you find something, then it may be worth braving this region's cruel monsters. Looks like we're taking the car there. Here we go. I know this is a horrible view. Just bear with me for a second. Black feather. Look for clues of the missing Moogle's whereabouts. The missing Koopo nut. Okay, now what? Bring the clues to Koopley Kooky. Marble. The wedding chocobo. Oh, you're back at last. Did you find any sign of our friend Koopo? Here's the Koopo nut and a large black feather. Hmm, some black feathers and a Koopo nut. This is one of the presents we brought for Mog Home, Koopo. Just as I thought, he must have gone south. But just how far south? It's hard to imagine him running too far without resting his wings. Aha, these black feathers might belong to the giant bird that attacked. That means the bird might have flown off with the poor Moogle. We have to help him before he's eaten or worse. Hurry, adventure. We need to follow the bird's trail, Koopo. Okay. How far south? Where do I go? Okay, over there.
Oops, wrong Moogle. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Look, there's a whole flock of those birds here. If indeed our companion was kidnapped, he's like to be around here. Let's split up and look for him, Koopo. Again with the searching. Up on the... I don't see- oh wait! Inside here, jeez. Motioning Moogle. I am the egg! Be the egg, Kupopo! Eggs don't get eaten, no they don't! Be the egg! Oh no, I've been found out, Kupopo! Don't- don't eat me! I'm so stringy, skin and bones! Oh, you're not one of those nasty birds? Thank heavens, I thought I was done for. Good thing I wasn't. Moogles are notoriously lacking in flavor, Koopo. Wow. You mean the others have come looking for me? I knew they wouldn't leave me here, Koopo. I'll return to them at once. <laughs> ah, the balloon mount. I love it. I love it so much. It's just so whimsical. Everyone's together at last, Koopo! Oh, I'm very close to this Moogle. We can finally make our way to Mog Home. I've grown quite tired of all these flying monstrosities, Koopo. Hello, Burga. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> the skies that bind. Like the ties that bind. Oh my god. Koopley Kooky and his band of merry moogles are finally ready to journey to Mog Home. Let's get this over with. Come on. This time, thanks to our trusty adventurer, we won't get lost on the way to Mog Home. Worry not, for I've memorized your directions. Let us away, Koopo. Okay. Speak with Mogul at Mog Home. Into the cliff face. Very good. Hey, I brought your friends, Koopo. Oh, adventurer! Welcome back, Koopo. Were you able to find the twelve sun moogles? Yeah, look. Here they are. It's wonderful to meet you. My name is Koopli. Kuki, there are so many islands above the sky, it took us forever to find the right one, Koopo. I'm just glad everyone was able to get here safe, Koopo. The name's Mogul. Welcome to Mog Home. Mogul, what a strange name. And you say Koopo, not Koopo, Koopo. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. We brought gifts for you to solidify our certain friendship. They are quite the delicacy, Koopo. You didn't need to bring a gift. Oh, these are Koopo nuts. You've seen these nuts before? They're only found amongst the thick wooden boughs of the black shroud, Koopo. There's nothing more tasty in all of Eorzea. They're so firm, Koopopo. But look, there's one hanging from that branch there. The Moogles of Mog Home work diligently to keep our nuts safe. I shudder to imagine what we would do without them. <laughs> How curious. Could these be the self-same nuts found in the black shroud, Koopo? Let's see here. Amazing to think our Koopo nuts would be alike as peas in a pod. 
Well, this visit is proving to be more interesting than I could have imagined. But there's still so much to learn. Let's go visit Chieftain Moglen, Kupo. Aw, cute. I love Moogles. I love and hate them at the same time. I love how cute and fluffy they are. I hate how obnoxious they are. <laughs> it's a trap. Don't touch his nuts. Oh no, it's these nuts. Oh god. See, I was refraining from making the joke. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, we have to go this way. It was low-hanging fruit. Ba-dum-ch. Oh, right. We talk with Moglin. Big Chieftain Moglin. <clears throat> Moogles of the Twelveswood, welcome to Mog Home. Although your oh wait, Moogles of the Twelveswood, welcome to Mog Home. Although your journey has surely been long and tiring, I would like to solidify our friendship by telling you the story passed down through generations in Mog Home. Just like his nuts. There you go. Listen well, for we may find that which bring which binds us together, Kupo. Long, long ago, a great continent floated above the clouds. And we Moogles all lived together in happy harmony. But one day all creation was consumed by a raging tempest that spanned the whole of the heavens, and the once great continent was smashed into countless smaller ones. The islands were too small for the Moogles to continue living together as one, and to ensure the happiness of their brethren, a band of brave explorers set off on a journey to a new land and a new home, or so the story goes, Kupo. Amazing, Kupo! The Twelvesword Moogles have a similar story. Oh, how does it go again? Once upon a time, our ancestors lived among the heavens in harmony, until one day the gods up high began their petty squabbles, throwing a once peaceful land into a tumult of chaos, Kupo. And thus did the last king of Mughalkind, good King Mughalmog the... 12th? I think? Good King Mughalmog the 12th, may his memory live on for eternity, lowered down a rope so long it could reach the surface, guiding his troubled subjects to a new home. Yeah, see, I knew that story. But he and all his benevolence remained behind to ensure the rope stayed strong for any stray Mughals. Hmm, there's not so much difference between the stories of Mogholm and the Twelves would after all. Both tell of Moogles coming down from the clouds and to the surface. They must be talking about the same thing, Kupo. Are Moogles angels? <laughs> I mean, you know, there's plenty of depictions of angels being not human and not, you know, super pretty. <laughs> not saying that Moogles aren't super pretty or anything. I think Moogles are fantastic. They're so cute. Maybe the Moogles of the past brought Koopa nuts with them. That's why the Koopa trees are exactly the same. So that means once long ago our ancestors lived happily together, Koopa. To think, we all come from the same ancestors, Koopa. Adventurer, thank you for guiding our Twelvesword friends here. Today will forever live on as a momentous day in Moogle history. Of course, Nian. Well, I suppose now it's time to get our friends acquainted with their home away from home. Mog home, Koopo. There's so much to see and so much to talk about. I can hardly wait. Yay. Was that it? Was that the last one? Looks like it. Oh god, I can't see. Mogret, Mogamo, Mogwin, Mogmug, Moglu, Moghan. <laughs> this is why the king thinks our name is stupid. We're not the king, the chieftain. Alright, we go back to Ishgard. The rest of these quests can wait. Oh, 
Okay. So we got all of those ones. Now we just have the middle ones and the left one. House during their night. Oh God. This is new. You weren't here before. Why are you here now? <laughs> I'm going to skip him for a second and do these other two because I have a feeling these other two are going to be shorter. Or not. He has two quests. Torsifers. Two furs for Torsifers. Dinner for four. Torsifers seeks assistance with a rather seeks assistance with a rather delicate issue. Excuse me, adventurer. I would ask a favor of you on behalf of House Fortong. My lord is hosting a banquet and requests attendance from the other high houses. Take these invitations and see they are delivered at once. Of course, you will likely not be granted an audience with the lords and ladies of the high houses. Leaving these with the guards will do, but they must be delivered. Should I accept his other quest while we're here? Unwanted delivery. Torsifers. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I just gonna say Torsifers. <laughs> Looks sick with worry. I look worried? Nonsense. Why would I have anything to be worried about? <sighs> okay, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. Lord Amandalane requests I deliver a missive to Lady Laniet, La Laniet at the Rose House. I remember him specifically mentioning that failure would not be tolerated. It is a simple task, yet the thought of doing the thought of something going awry has my stomach in knots. I am loath to thrust my duties upon another, but would you be willing to deliver this missive? I cannot afford to take chances. Surely a man of your talents can see the deed done without fail. Please, you are my only hope. Alright. Let's deliver the letters first, because I don't want to go back to fucking Camp Cloudtop again. I don't want to do it. Bartello? Hello? What business have you with House Halenart? It's an invitation, Yan. An invitation to dine with House Fortons? My lord would be honored to attend, but I'm afraid he's quite busy at present with what with the breach of Ishgard's defenses and rising heretic activity. Can't rightly say he's too busy, though. That's for him to decide. You have me, you have me where this invitation will be delivered. Deliver a formal invitation to Desmile Man. Where's that? What is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, I see how it's set up now. You have the four houses. So there's Desmile Manor, Fort Tom's Manor, Helenart Manor, and Durandare Manor. Okay. <clears throat> this is where that uh, Scholasticate guy, we shook him down right here, you remember? I remember. Do you remember? The 21st night of September. Do you remember? I remember. All right, Janelette. Jane? Ja Jane? Jane? Janelette? I don't know. This is the residence of House Desmile. If you have no business here, I must ask you to leave. So rude. A banquet hosted by House Fortance. I see. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. It's just, my lord has been tied up with the restoration of Falcon's Nest. I imagine making time to attend will be difficult. Nevertheless, I will see to it he receives the invitation. All right. Is that the jeweled crozier? crozier? The jeweled crozier? I just skipped it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Up, isn't it? 
doing it. Yeah. Hello, Toffee. How can I help you today? What is it? What is it, Toffee? What do you want? Meow. 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 Little squeaky meow. Are you looking for caramel? She's up there. What do you want, Toffee? Oh, yeah. Such a cutie. Sorry, I have to pet my cat. It's the law. Whenever she comes and meows at me, I have to pet her. She's trained me well. Little Toffee. Little baby. Okay. Whoops! <laughs> Didn't mean to jump. Ramon's this. What business brings you to House Durander? Speak up. Ah, yes, two kitties. Beautiful emote. A dinner with House for Toms? Hmm. <laughs> and whose favor do they aim to gain this time? Not that it concerns you, but House Durander and Four Toms don't exactly see eye to eye. Little wonder they would ask you to deliver this missive. But far be it from me to exacerbate matters. The invitation will be delivered. What my lord does with it is not my concern. Alright, now we go back. Ah, oh, and so you have returned. I hope you were not met with too much hostility. The High Houses of Ishgard are descended from the heroes who once fought alongside Haldrath, the first Ezra Dragoon. Their ancestors were the founders of Ishgard, and it is from their bloodlines the Archbishop is chosen. There is no force greater than their combined strength when pitted against the Horde. When vying for power here in Ishgard, however, they are like corals fighting for territory in a small pit. To involve yourself in politics here is a dangerous game. You would do well to remember that. Okay, now we have to go deliver the rose-scented letter to Lady Laniette, Laniette, Laniette at the Rose House. It's from Emmanuelaine to his crush. Laniate. 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 Roga, you're looking well, but what brings you here to Cloudtop? If there is aught you require, you need only ask. Rose scented letter with a cute little thingy. If the sickly sweet words of eternal love contained within this missive are not enough to induce nausea, the copious amounts of rose oil applied to the parchment most certainly will. Oh my god. Emanelaine is down bad. Sniff. Rose oil? Ugh, a letter from Lord Emanelaine. I'm terribly sorry about this. I never imagined he would attempt something so shameless. I'm afraid to say he's always been like this. House Halenart Hale and House Four Toms have always ma maintained good relations, and as such, those close in year those close in years often spend time together from an early age. I spent much of my youth playing together with Lord Emanelaine, but now I fear he still clings too tightly to memories of our youth, though I admit it is sometimes to my benefit. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for Torsifers. 
No doubt he asked you to come in his place. I can sympathize with his anxiety over upsetting Lord and Madeline, but this is no way to treat a guest. Please accept this as a token of my apology. I realize it's not much, but it's all I can offer at present. And now we go back to Ishgard. Back and forth and back and forth. We're gonna come back here eventually, but right now we got other stuff to worry about. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna do the one down here. Then we'll talk to the Durandare Knight, okay? Only then. Languid noblewoman. Enlisted. Languid noblewoman lets out a long, despondent sigh. Oh, woe is me. My dear brother has disappeared. He left the house without so much as a word and never returned. I'm ever so worried. I know not what to do. I've searched high and low, but there's simply no sign of him. He must have left the Holy See altogether, but he has no friends outside the city. The only person he knows is Redwald at Falcon's Nest. Please, if you happen to see Redwald, ask him if he knows what's become of my brother. I'm ever so worried. Please tell him how worried I am. I'd make the journey myself, but I know I wouldn't last a minute out there in the wild. Well, we gotta go to Falcon's Nest now. I don't wanna. <laughs> Just kidding. I love side quests. I'm definitely not annoyed. <laughs> I love doing this. This is so much fun. I like it when it's in the same place. I don't like it when it makes me go a bunch of different places. Hello, Redwald. Yan 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 yan. Oh, her brother? Yes, he's here in Coerthus. I saw him. I last saw him at the Convictory. He was in an utterly foul mood. Lad is of noble blood, but with two older brothers, he is hardly first in line for the inheritance. He came out here to secure his own future by earning fame and glory slaying dragons. Really now? Speak with the noble one's brother at the con Convictory. Where is that? Is that on this map? Doesn't look like it. Where is- wait. This is the same map. It's just hard to see. <clears throat> Alright, Behemoth, let's go. Behemoth, I choose you! God, I just almost barfed thinking of the whole I choose you Pokemon thing as like a marriage proposal. <laughs> You're here again, Toffee? What do you want? I can't pet you anymore. I pet you so much. I pet you so much, Nya. What more do you want? Little Toffee. What? What? What is- oh, we're flying right over it. Oh god, I was too busy <laughs> lovingly gazing at my cat. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of side quests here too. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun doing all these side quests. Oh boy. I still have to pick up Sage and Reaper though. And there's a Halloween event coming up, so we'll intersperse that. Eh, maybe. 
This place shall be the death of me. Whatever made me think I could survive out here, it's utterly freezing and I have to stoke the campfire myself? What poor joke is that? Where are the servants? Huh? Yes, she's my sister. Why do you ask? She's worried about you. She's worried about me? Humph, I think she just misses having me around to boss about. Like hells I'm going back there. I full well intend to stay here and make a name for myself as a renowned dragon slayer. Then we'll see who bosses who around. He's gonna die out there. <laughs> and now we go back to Ishgard. <laughs> Do you sense a pattern here? <laughs> Dear God. That's a cool top. Isn't that the uh, Ishgardian? Neo Ishgardian? Yeah, Neo Ishgardian top of healing. Oh, nice. Interesting. All right, now we're going to talk to the Durandir Knight. He's going to make me go somewhere else. I just know it. I can feel it. Aren't you, huh? Huh, punk? He's totally going to make me go somewhere. House Durandir Knight needs an adventurer who can keep a secret. Mum's the word. Excuse me. Um, you're not from around here, are you? I know this is sudden, but I have a favor to ask. I'm looking for someone to deliver a gift to a friend in Falcon's Nest. What is it? Well, it's a surprise, so I can't really say. I, I just need you to deliver it, that's all. You can pick it up from the Knight of the Brush at the Forgotten Night. What? The Knight of the Brush? You'll know him when you see him, and I'm sure he'll recognize you as well. Time to go to the Forgotten Night. Or not? What? It doesn't show anything. I don't see anyone. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. It's a circle. Gotta go downstairs. Aha. Knight of the Brush. Ah, there you are. I thought it might be you, so it's true you're not from Ishgard? Perfect. No one will suspect a thing. Here's the package, good sir. Whoa, hey, don't wave it all about like that. Someone may see. Now hurry on to Falcon's Nest. You'll want to deliver it to Emeris... Em Emerisel. 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 And remember, this meeting never happened. If anyone asks, you don't know me. Are these drugs? Is this a weed? Am I delivering a weed? A marijuana. I do not wish to be part of your drug deal, sir. I'm just a cat. I don't know anything about drugs. What is this? Somnus? Whatever it's called. A maricel. There you are. I have your drugs. I mean your package. Is that a police? I'm calling the weed. <laughs> Exactly. 420, what you smoking? <laughs> What's with that look? We don't tolerate funny business here at Fox and that's here. You have no business here. I suggest you move along. Faded iconograph. Oh, an oil painting depicting the fury helmed and astride a dragon. Oh, my package. Happy day. I was worried my friend would not be able to get it. Now let's take a look here. 
a masterpiece beyond compare. The very glory of it inspires an indescribable fulfillment, a crescendo of righteous emotions. I feel my faith in the church renewed, my spirit cleansed by its presence. Dude, this is every time I look at a picture of Graha. Ahem, thank you for this, adventurer. Remember, no one must know of this. Mum's the word, okay. Well, that was a little weird. At least it wasn't drugs. Back to Ishgard. Bye, Amaricel. Enjoy your weird hentai picture. <laughs> your fury fan art. <laughs> your Halone X dragon fan art. <laughs> I should have gone to the Crozier, huh? Yeah, I should have gone to the Crozier. We're almost done, though. There's two more. This way. Elise. Caught in the act. Elise is waiting for something with bated breath. The trap is set. All I can do now is wait. Ah, are you not the new ward of House Fortans? The city is practically buzzing with talk of you. I don't suppose you could spare a moment. A thief has been pilfering the products of merchants here at the jeweled crozier, and I mean to flush him out. I placed three sacks of counterfeit coins about the lane as bait. Could you check to see if any are missing? How does she have counterfeit coin? Where am I supposed to be looking here? God, my throat hurts. Let me take a drink of water. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't know where I'm supposed to- Aha! Elise's trap. Still in place. Aha! Has been taken. Aha! This one was hard to find. Damn. Still in place. Okay, so one of them was taken. Remember that, chat. Oh yeah, I also have to sell stuff. I remember. <laughs> Let's see if I remember by the time stream is over. It looks as though they've taken the bait. Excellent. What they've likely failed to note, however, is the hole in the bottom of the sack. Not a gaping hole, mind you, just large enough for a coin or two to trickle out as they flee to their hiding place. Let us follow the trail and see who is behind all this. That's a big ass circle! Excuse me? Poorly crafted counterfeit coin. Search for the robber. Something tells me it's not this way.
Oh, there's one. This is the airship. Aha! It's the same girl who stole the firewood from earlier! Oi! Well, what? Are you get what are you giving me that look for? Is it a crime to stand around minding my own business? Leave me alone. Bottomless purse. get it because it doesn't have the bottom on it so it's bottom it's not like it's bottomless money <laughs> <clears throat> is there okay yes ethernet shard So, what did you find at the end of the trail? A young girl, you say. No doubt she's the thief from the broom I've heard so much about. I can't imagine the pain she must feel alone in the world at a time such as this. My heart goes out to her, it truly does, but stealing is simply inexcusable. If she's as clever as people claim her to be, she will know not to try something so foolish again. Some cool masks. Kind of interesting. I'm just gonna take the money though. Speaking of money, before I forget, Nyan. There we go. Phew. Most of that stuff sold for like one gill. Oh boy, a bot. Time to try and delete this message. Thanks for the chat. But uh... There we go. No one deserves to look at that for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Be gone, bot. Oh boy, it's this guy again. Math eye. I wonder... What kind of quest it's gonna be? Is it a scholastic? Oh no. Oh, but I get a Thavnarian onion. That's cool. Matha is looking. Wait. Okay, I'm still leveling up Peep. He is not full level yet. <clears throat> Matthai is looking for an adventurer who is not afraid of a little hard work, landing a stable job. Get it? It's probably like the chocobo stables. What's this? Looking for a bit of work, are we? You don't look to be one strapped for coin. <laughs> yeah, I got like 12 million gil. But I never turn away anyone looking to make an honest gil. 
Would you mind taking a sack of chocobo fodder down to the holy stables and foundation? Stable master Sevilla is expecting a delivery. She paid me up front, but fear not, that was merely for the fodder. There's still a delivery charge, and you're welcome to it if you take the fodder down there for me. It's like Uber Eats. I'll take the chocobo fodder and Uber Eats it to the chocobo. Okay. Now where? Got to go the other way. Got to get to an Ethernet shard. Or well, I guess we could go this way. Let's test it out. Let's go this way. It's a cool little hallway. The foundation. Here are the stables, Nyan. In here? Oh. Well, I've never been in here before, I don't think. Look at this poor chap by the fire. Or lady, I guess. Look at this poor lass by the fire. Barry B. Benson? Isn't that the B movie guy? <laughs> What's up here? No entry door. Cool certificate on the wall. A window. Alright, Sevilla. Welcome to the Holy Stables. What can I do for you? Oh, the fodder is splendid. The chocobos are in for a treat. We specialize in the breeding and training of cavalry chocobos, so they must have nothing but the very best. They're put through an admittedly harsh training regimen, and only a chocobo of the finest stock can endure it. That's why my assistant and I... Wait a second, where is my assistant? Huh, no doubt he's run off to the light feather proving grounds again. Would you be a deer and go get him for me? And tell him to expect chocobo fodder for lunch if he doesn't hurry. I mean, the last time I saw chocobo fodder, like chocobo feed... It looked like a bunch of fruits and vegetables. I wouldn't really mind that. Oh my god. If anyone knows how to fix that one or more of your client settings file, which include your hotbar settings, fail to save thing, let me know. I've tried everything. I've looked it up on Google. Tried everything. So maybe if this somehow reaches another person out there who has had the same problem, fixed it. Maybe, just maybe, they can help me. Hello, we've been trying to reach you about your Chocobo's extended warranty. <laughs> I wonder how long Chocobo's live for. Proving Grounds Guard. I have to go in there? Looking for who? Oh, the stable man. He went inside not too long ago. Enter the proving grounds. What? Whoa! Oh, wait. Isn't this where we fought? Watching. Jump in! I can't. Oh, he's raking it. Like, what is that guy doing in the middle of there? <laughs> Getting it ready for the next match. It's like the Coliseum in Old Da. Hello there. Come for a few matches as well, I take it? Ah, uh, have you ever seen anything so exhilarating? Until they're slow at racing, then they get taken out to pasture. That means they get, like, to be free-range chocobos and they live out their days on a happy little farm, right? It doesn't mean what I think it means, does it? It, it, mean, it doesn't mean that they get killed, right? Is that what taken out to pasture means? 
<laughs> oh dear. They end up being served at Hooters? What? <laughs> Chocobo wings? Instead of like buffalo wings? <laughs> <laughs> Means retired. Oh, okay. Phew! I thought you meant they killed the chocobos and I got really worried. There is nothing in this world more majestic than the chocobos. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Is this where chocobos fight? I'm so confused at what happens at the proving grounds. What are the proving grounds? Chocobo wild wings. <laughs> There's nothing in this world more majestic than the chocobo, spirited and resilient with plumage kissed by the golden sun. They are my passion, and I long to someday breed the perfect chocobo. Fortunately, I work at the holy stables, or I'd never have the opportunity. By the way, you need to get back to your job. Sevilla is looking for me? Bugger me with a hay fork. The fodder must have arrived. The matches will have to wait. Thanks for the tip, friend. Report to Sevilla. Where? Got where I need to go. He practically tripped over himself running in here not long ago. Thank you for finding him. Uh, he'll have to buckle down if he's serious about becoming a realm-renowned breeder, though he's off to a good start having come here. Ishgard is famous for raising chocobos, you know. They've always been the steed of choice on the battlefield. The Proving Grounds, where you found my starry-eyed assistant, ensured they get plenty of practice. Well, I say it's practice, but it also makes a good show for the folks spectating as well. You should see for yourself sometime. Nothing like feathers flying from two chocobos fluttering, almost dancing back and forth in the arena. You'll quickly come to understand why they call it the Light Feather Proving Grounds. And as long as this stable stands, you can be sure our chocobos will be there. I'll confess the weather has been more than unkind to our chocobo chicks, but we have traditions and a reputation to uphold. Sweet! Huh. <sighs> Let's see here. Uh, we could try to do one more. I think that's all the ones in Ishgard, though. Oh, nope. There's another one. I bet it's the thief girl. Let's go check it out. Are you kidding me? It's not <laughs> Is it up there again? Can't see up there. Ah, it is him again. What do you need now? Unfulfilled dreams. The bleak nights of Ishgard have never felt colder for Bricht. Larimar? A sky blue jewel. It looks really pretty. It looks like the ocean is inside that thing. Wow. The shop selling price is 4,400 for you, but then it sells for three gil. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you remember Osalie? Yeah, I remember her. She's stolen like two things from me now. Osalie, the young girl who deceived you for our firewood. I don't mean to alarm you, but her body was found not long ago, huddled in a corner of the broom. Oh my god. No doubt her life was snuffed out by the cold of night. Something about this doesn't sit right with me. 
contemptible though her actions have been, I won't deny that she was a good that she was good at what she did. That she could not afford firewood or even shelter for the night is unthinkable. How could this have happened? Word travels fast in the broom, and news of its greatest thief's passing has likely reached the taverns by now. See what you can glean from talk in the forgotten night. Failing that, you may find a clue among her belongings down in the broom. Uh, isn't the Forgotten Knight, like, right up here? Aha! Drunken Knight. That ratty little pickpocket, I didn't talk to her so much and she stopped to hear my grumbling. Can't say I recall hearing that name, though. I just returned from Camp Cloudtop and she overheard me griping about the place. She practically hung on my every word. Not that I had much to say, there's practically nothing to do there. Tending the crops, I was a mindless surveillance duty. The only thing to fear there is a slow, painful death from boredom. But any road, the kids started to bother me after a while, so I told her to get lost. Well, that was easy. I just have to search for her belonging. A spectacular jump and fall. These guys look like they have something to say. I have the watch. The watch of what? Watching over this person? This person looks like they don't belong here. It's not a player character. Interesting. Anyway, here's a stained sack. Wow, racist. <laughs> no! They're clothes. They're dressed in like really fancy clothes. You find a sack filled with Osalier's belongings. Among them, you discover a sizable amount of gill and recruitment flyers for Camp Cloudtop. Okay. I see, so the poor child was looking to find peace in the Sea of Clouds. In light of all that has befallen Ishgard, I cannot blame her. She was made an orphan long ago by the war, and attacks, of the, by, and attacks by the Horde only grow more terrifying. A land free of dragons must have seemed a paradise to her. But dreams will guard no one from the chill of night. Uh, if only she had reached out to someone, anyone at all. Would that I could turn back the hands of time. It saddens my heart to know she will never see her dreams made reality. But perhaps there's a way we can honor her courage. Would you take her things to Camp Cloudtop and set up a small memorial of sorts? I have to go to Camp Cloudtop again? To set up a memorial for a dead child. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm sorry for complaining. <laughs> that seems very distasteful now that I look back on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Where? Oh, here. You place Osalie's belongings in the shade of a large flowering plant. A young girl's laughter seems to echo on the breeze. Oh, What? This is sad. Can't believe we met her twice and then she died. That's so gruesome.
Thank you, friend. Though her life was filled with hardships, perhaps now she will find peace in the hereafter. But no child should have to pay such a high price to know peace, and I believe there will come a day when the dawn rises on an Ishgard free of war. It will. It has. Uh, that's the whole Heaven's Ward thing. <laughs> okay. I do believe that's all the quests now. Should we check the pillars one more time? Yep. All right, so next time, we gotta go to Coerthus Central Highland. I'll just write down Camp Dragonhead. Camp Dragonhead. Okay. Oops. Let us return. Whoa, I'm skidding. <laughs> Drifting. Gridania Drift. That's a naked person, jeez. Time to go hide out in an in room so I don't have to look at naked people. <laughs> Just asexual things, you know. <laughs> okay. Put on my PJs. Did I exit the game? Probably. All right. Here is where you can find me on the internet. My Kofi, my TikTok, and my, I guess it's called X now. Twitter or X account. Uh, that's the art and writing one that I have. Here's the schedule. Today was Mystery Monday. And next time will be Wild Card Wednesday. Um, however, a quick announcement, the Wednesday after Halloween, so next, right? Next Wednesday, I'll be canceling stream because we're moving D&D &D to that night, Dungeons and Dragons. We're moving it to Wednesday because everyone's going to do stuff on Halloween. Except for me, I don't really have any plans. <laughs> But anyway, the Wednesday after Halloween is going to be canceled. I will make a Twitter post about it, and I will remind you next Monday, unless I have work. But anyway, just, just so you know, the Wednesday after Halloween is not going to happen. We don't have stream. But this is where you can look at me and Mushy's uh, YouTube videos. They're about gaming. And yeah. See you on Minecraft if you hop on. Yeah, I might hop on to build more cat buildings. <laughs> Just these cat monoliths out in the world. I'll go to random places and build them so that people can stumble upon them. You can do stuff with us on Halloween. Aw, thank you. I was thinking of having like a Halloween movie marathon, maybe with my dad. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for watching, though. And I will see you in the next stream, Nyan. Bye-bye.